Dr. Fei Ling! Dr. Fei Ling! What is it, Linhua? Is the next patient here? Jeez, Doc. That person was your last patient, you know. Something the matter? You seem out of it. I was just thinking about how long it's been since I've come here to Kagutsuchi. I think it's actually been a while, but now that you mentioned it, you came to this town because you were looking for something, right? I take it you haven't found it yet. Yeah. It's proving to be a lot harder than I expected. You look a little glum, Doc. R really? I guess I am a little worn out. Are you gonna go down again today? Hmm. Maybe I'll try going up for a change. Up? That's pretty rare. Something's been bothering me lately. But above? I can't really stand those guys. Everyone up on the higher layers treats the underground people like trash. I can do without those arrogant jerks. That's true. I can't say that I agree with what they do. Well, if you're going out, Doc, be careful. I hear there are officials from the library still running around. Yeah, I'll be careful. If anything happens while I'm out, can you call Dr. Han over? Ugh, that quack? I don't like him either. He looks so perverted, too. It's not good to judge a book by its cover. That's exactly what the upper layer people do, you know? Yes, I know. Good answer. Now be good while I'm away. They sure posted a lot on our wall, too, didn't they? If Ragna came from out of town, someone at the port probably saw him. Let's go, Lao Chu. Let's do our best. Until we find him. I'm at the port now, but I wonder if anyone really has seen Ragna. I'll need to do a little investigating. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel, one. me like that you startled me fine I guess it can't be helped but first won't you get off of me you're heavy fine I guess it can't be helped Tao you need to settle down a little okay meow yes good answer now Tao you're lucky it was me but you can't just jump on people like that okay okay booby lady good response and I appreciate you raising your hand but are you sure you understand? You haven't done this to other people, have you, Tao? Oh, I haven't! Hmm? Booby Lady, what's that meow? Hmm. 
this? Do you want to see it? Yes, I do! Yes, I do! Oh! This is that good guy! He's not a good guy. This is a wanted poster for him. But he is a good guy! He was in your town, booby lady! Huh? You mean he came to Orient Town? I fought him like BAM! Kaboom! And then he bought me lunch! So he's a good man, this white guy. As always, you have an interesting way with words. I can't believe Ragna's already passed through Orient Town. This must be what they mean when they say the base of a lighthouse is ever dark. Thanks, Tal. It was good seeing you. Sure! I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm happy if I was able to help you. I'm taking off, so I'll see you around, booby lady! I should go back to Orient Town for now. What was that? It came from the direction Tal went. What should I do? I should take a look. Tal might be causing a ruckus for someone again. <laughs> that was fun, Meow! Not bad, little guy! You're not bad yourself. I have some fighting experience, but you use a really interesting style. And you're very strong. Quite dangerous. Oh, I knew it. At least her companion doesn't look too angry. Hey now! Stop fighting this instant, you two! Yeah? This isn't a fight, booby lady! We're just playing, meow! Um, are you a friend of this cat? I I'm sorry for all the noise we've caused. I'm merely a vigilante, as is this cat lady, so we decided to put our strengths to the test. That doesn't seem like a really good reason. You must be quite skilled yourself since you can hold your own against Tao, but it's still dangerous. Besides... Uh, Nirvana? What is it doing here? I apologize for being so inconsiderate. I only wanted to see some of her techniques, but I guess I'll be on my way now. Wait, that marionette of yours. Do you have some business with my sister? It's dangerous to have her by your side. At least let me... Do you intend to steal my sister from me? I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot comply with that request. Or, are you going to resort to force? The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! from a legacy of the Great War. Still, I'm impressed someone can use her as well as you do. I don't know how much you know about my sister. However, every person who has called her that has tricked us in the past. Those are just unfortunate coincidences. That's a lie. Hmm, it's not fair that the two of you get to play like that. Let Meow join too! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, hey, Tao! 
Wow! You just knocked him out! Huh? I really did! That was boring. Don't boring me! <sighs> but thanks to you, you did help me out. He's really a good kid. Now, help me carry him to Orient Town. Why's that? Why? You're the one who knocked him out, silly. And he's injured on top of that. It's my job to help people. Now hurry and help me. Oh. Where's my sister? She's fine. She's right over there. Sis, thank goodness you're okay. I thought they were going to take you apart again. Are you feeling okay? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks for everything you've done. I'm okay now. I apologize for Tao jumping on you so suddenly. But why did you want to fight her so badly? It's not that I wanted to fight her. As I've explained earlier, as fellow vigilantes, we wanted to compare our strengths. Is that so? Huh? Looking at the way you two were fighting, one of you could have been killed. Uh, that was very rude of me. If it's the medical fee that you want, I can prepare that right away. That's not what I was trying to say. Then what is it? An apology? Don't tell me you want my sister! Tao, stop playing and come over here. Huh? I didn't do anything wrong! You can't get mad at Meow! Tao, I won't ask you again. Y yes ma'am! Are you too sorry for fighting each other? It wasn't a fight. That's right! We were playing Meow! Are you too sorry for endangering each other? Yes. yes. I can't hear you. Yes. yes Ma'am. Now here's your punishment. <laughs> if I catch you two again, you can expect a lot more than that. Meow. <laughs> Have you two even realized you're hurt everywhere? Nanya, this is nothing. I'll just lick it. Uh, they're just scratches. So please, don't worry about it. I can't do that. I am a doctor after all, you know. Both of you come with me. I'll treat your wounds. That's too much trouble, Meow. I think I'll pass too. Get over here! She... she's scary, Meow! Okay, that's it for the treatment. <laughs> it stings! Now. The both of you are a lot stronger than the average person, and I'm sure that can lead to some advantages in life. But if you wield your strength for no reason, you'll hurt others someday, and yourself. It's in your best interest to keep that power hidden. Gotcha! I'll be careful now! Thanks again, booby lady! Thank you for the treatment. I'll excuse myself now. And, um, how much do I owe you? That won't be necessary. I brought you here against your will anyway. This person, she's just like... No, never mind. Did I do something unnecessary? If that's the case, you have my apologies. Let's go, sis. We have no more business here. Uh, wait! My, he's a fast one. Oh boy. I forgot to ask that child for his name, too. I hope it was the right decision to not take that marionette away from him. Since he's a wanted bounty, I doubt he'll be on the main streets. I should make my way to the back alleys. Huh? No way! Isn't that him? Yeah, I think he is. Though, something doesn't feel quite right. Sh should we let the librarian know? You idiot! You're just gonna buy yourself some more trouble! You're right. Let's pretend we didn't see anything.
excuse me. Huh? You call me? Do you think I can have a moment of your time? I'd like to talk to you about a few things. If this is a religious solicitation, save it for someone else. No, that's not it. You're... Um... The person on this poster, right? Huh? What are you, a vigilante? Sorry, but I don't have time to deal with you. I'm not trying to catch you, so don't worry. I haven't contacted the NOL either. You're not woman, but... What the hell? So what do you want? I don't have much time. I have a favor to ask of you. Regarding that power of yours. Power? I don't know how you found out about this grimoire, but it's best you forget what you saw here. For your own sake. That's not it. I'm not the one after that power of yours. Why does trouble have to follow me wherever I go? Don't give me that look. You're making me worried. Thanks. The person chasing you is a bounty named Arachne. He's been attracted by that power of yours and he'll eventually attack you for it. What, is that it? Psh, that's not a problem. No one will complain if a bounty or two dies, right? I'll just claim self-defense and kill the bastard. You can't kill him! What's with the sudden yelling? You're gonna give me a heart attack! I'm sorry. But you... you just can't kill a wreck. You mustn't kill him. So you've got your reasons, huh? Well, I guess I can hear you out. Explain yourself first. We'll go from there. And that's the situation. So if you meet him, please don't kill him. If I can find out where he is, I might be able to do something. I just don't have enough information right now. God damn it, why did I even decide to listen? It's too much to ask, isn't it? All right, all right, I get it, so don't give me that face. If he has the nerve to show up in front of me, I'll beat him to a pulp. So make sure you're around to pick him up. I... I didn't mean to make it go out of your way. Not like it matters. He's gonna jump me anyway, right? But just so you know, I'm not gonna help you find him, got it? If he tries to kill me, I'll make him regret it. That's all. I have a responsibility to help him. If you find him, please tell me where he is. It'd be a lot easier if I just beat the crap out of him. I take it this conversation's over, so I'll be on my way. Later. He's really aggressive. But he certainly isn't a bad person. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that should be on a wanted poster. Though I guess there's no use in me thinking about it. Wait a minute. Was that Ragna the Blood Edge? Uh, are you okay? Did he hurt you? Um, who might you be? Uh, my apologies. I'm NOL Lieutenant Noel Vermilion. You don't seem harmed. I need to chase that man, so I'll excuse myself. W wait If you need something, could it wait till later? I'm in a hurry right now. I need to stop her. What should I do? That isn't Ragna. But he looks just like the drawing in the poster. L like his white hair. Exactly. That's why I was uh, warning him. He shouldn't dye his hair white and spike it like that. Well... What do you mean? That's my younger brother. He's at a rebellious age right now. So he dyed his hair that color and wears that coat, thinking it's cool? Huh? And there are those posters all over town, right? I didn't want anyone to mistake him for that wanted criminal, so I was telling him to stop wearing that. I see. I thought I finally found him. Still, 
The townspeople should know that impersonating Ragna is a grave crime. I understand. I'll excuse myself now. If you do happen to see that man on the poster, please give me a call right away. Yes, I'll be sure to do so. <sighs> that was quite a ruckus, but I can rest easy now. I told Ragna about him, so there's not much more I can do. I should head home for today. Him, huh? Maybe I'll try the Kaka clan tomorrow and ask if they've seen him lately. I haven't stopped by in a while, so it might be a nice change of pace. Okay, settle down, everyone. Don't worry, I'm not here to make you study today. Aww. We're not gonna study? Boring! We won't run, so teach us, please! I'm sorry, everyone, but I'm here to speak with the Elder today. The Elder? Well, I guess there's no helping that. Yeah, though I'm not sure what it is we can't help. Oh well, let's go play with Tao instead! <laughs> it's nice to see energetic children. I hope he doesn't try to attack the village again. I better hurry to the Elder's place. Long time no see, Elder. How have you been? Oh, it's been too long, Lychee. I've been doing just fine, thanks to you. <laughs> so, what can I help you with today? It's regarding him again. Has there been any casualties in the village lately? It seems he's settled down for the time being. He hasn't eaten any villagers lately. I see. That's good to hear. I will come up with a countermeasure for him as soon as possible. So if you can... Please tell the villagers to be alert. Understood. Is that all you wanted to tell me? No. I came to give you a progress report on the research you requested. I see. And what are your thoughts on the matter? Based on the results, there's no denying the fact that it's a device tempered to maintain a population of 100. The population of the village has never surpassed 100 people, as shown by the statistics. And if for some reason it suddenly dropped, asexual reproduction would automatically compensate for the numbers that were lost. So unless there is a phenomenon that will instantly wipe out the entire population, there is no fear of extinction. Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? I guess we have no choice but to slowly disappear into the flow of time. As I have mentioned before, even if your population drops for whatever reason, it will be restored automatically, in theory. So in the end, we are just another race that has been forsaken by God. All the children that are born anew are nothing more than copies of those who passed away. Though we have a population of 100, we are essentially one entity. A hundred of us are like one human being. A single human being will always die. Though there are some minor differences among your race, that doesn't change the fact that you've been cloned from a single organism. For that reason, an environmental shift could potentially wipe out your entire race, but I believe we can reduce that risk through genetic alteration. So we must break even more laws of nature to prolong this pathetic excuse for a race. 
How could God ever forgive us? I'll excuse myself for today. Leaving so soon, are you? I must apologize for the lack of hospitality. It's quite all right. I'm just glad to see the happy faces on those children. I can't thank you enough for teaching those kittens. You have done more than I can ask for, for our village. I just hope things can remain the way they are. Lychee, once you find him, do you intend to leave our town? I mean, we have no right to stop you or anything. No, I don't intend to go anywhere. Orion Town is my home now. And there are many people who need me here. <laughs>